Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Now, there has been some respect shown on the internet <gasps> for once and this time it actually goes to somebody who actually deserves it, yeah? Keanu Reeves. Now this guy is an all-round amazing guy. You know what, Keanu Reeves been through a lot, yeah? First of all, the guy's got dyslexia. On top of that, his father left when he was three. Then he had three stepdads. He moved around a lot when he was young, so he couldn't make that many friends. He used to get in trouble in school, so he got expelled. He lost his closest friend to drug abuse. Then his sister got leukemia, so she had to fight through leukemia. He got married. He had a daughter, but unfortunately the daughter was a stillborn. That then caused issues in their marriage. Eventually they got divorced. A year later, the wife died in a car crash. So. As you guys can tell, the guy's been through a lot. Alright, so the bit of news about Keanu that I'm interested in and that everybody's talking about now is the circulation of pictures that he's taken with fans, female fans, and he doesn't touch him. Yeah, he just hover hand. Now he's got a lot of respect for it. Yeah, they're saying he's a great guy, he's been through a lot, and this is just amazing. More people need to be like him. For a man not to touch a woman that is attractive shows a lot of restraint mate. On top of that it shows respect. You respect her for a human being and not an object that needs to be grabbed. And on top of that it shows your loyalty to a higher purpose because you are stepping on your desires for the greater good. Curiously no one said Keanu Reeves needs to integrate more men. Keanu hates women. He's oppressing him. You didn't get Denmark, Switzerland or France saying you know what the US needs to pass a law that forces Keanu to shake hands. Maybe if his name was Muhammad Keanu and he had a bit of a longer beard. Maybe things would have been different. Now sadly that's only reserved for Muslims yeah. You know what we live in such a highly sexualized society where it's constantly there in adverts, on TV, in movies. Now despite Muslims collectively showing restraint they get called desperate, they get called oppressive. But the last thing that I wanted to say yeah, let's, let's, let's have a bit of a heart to heart. A bit of a heart to heart yeah. Keanu's got me started now. There's two things I wanted to say, I'm sure a lot of you guys would agree. There's two things that give you such pain, unbearable pain. Number one, that's the death of a loved one. And number two, it's heartbreak. Yeah, heartbreak. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, whether that's come through a haram relationship like BFGF or divorce. Yeah, no matter what it is. Yeah. Heartbreak hurts a lot, yeah? So when Allah tells us that if you want to be with a woman or if you want to be with a man, you can be with them. You can, but you got to commit to them because this relationship is no joke. Because if you break someone's heart, that's it. Some people might be young. They're like, why can't we have a boyfriend and girlfriend? Mate, when you're young, you're learning about yourself. You're learning who you are. You're learning how you think, how you function. And then when you grow up and you're a mature age, now you're in a position to bring someone else into the equation. But if you don't even know about yourself, mate, how can you be handling someone else? The union of a man and a woman is sacred in Islam. They come together, half of their religion is complete. Allah rewards them for even intimacy. It's such a spiritual bond that Allah uses it to induce more life, more life flowers from their coming together. It's such an amazing bond. Please, please, please don't let people use you. You got sisters showing their beauty, you got guys, you know, Allahu Akbar, honestly it's depressing, <laughs> you know, it's depressing when you go on social media sometimes, I don't even check all these likes because it just disappoints you, yeah it disappoints you. 
So may Allah give us the tawfiq and ability to recognize our value and the value of marriage and look after our chastity in these difficult times, mate. in these hard, hard times. We can learn from Muhammad Kianu as well, yeah? Alright, let's leave it there guys. Until next time, Asalaamu Alaikum.